So bully, what has it been like? You fooled everybody. Can you discuss a little bit of what's your feelings, what's going on for you right now? You're at the top. Well, the very first feeling that I'm feeling right now is pissed off because you addressed me the wrong way. Okay? It's Bully Ray, TNA World Heavyweight Champion and President of the Aces and Eights. And you want to know how I feel? I don't think I've ever felt so great in my life. As you saw last Thursday on Impact, I exposed to the whole world how I pulled off the greatest swindle in pro wrestling history, the greatest hoax, how I fooled everyone. Um, I'm the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. I'm the president of probably the most dominant stable of guys since the Four Horsemen. I think I'm most proud, though, of the fact that I was able to fool everybody. Sting, Brooke, Hulk, every single one of the fans around the world. So I'm feeling pretty damn good right about now. And after I'm done with this interview, I'm going to a really good strip club and I'm drinking some whiskey. So how do you think I'm feeling? I think you're feeling damn good. Yep. <laughs> What's it been like for you for your rise? Because you and Devon dominated tag team wrestling. Now, you've been a singles wrestler for a while. This isn't anything new to you. What's it been like to be able to reach that level as a singles wrestler? I've been a singles wrestler now for probably a little over two years, and um, you know everybody's quite shocked by my answer. Um, I never wanted to be a singles wrestler. Ever since I got into the professional wrestling business, I always knew that I wanted to be part of a tag team. I always knew that I wanted to be part of the most successful tag team that ever existed. Um, and I know that I accomplished that goal. I know that me and Devon accomplished that goal. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that we are the greatest tag team or best technical tag team or you know any of those terms. Because I don't really know what constitutes greatness as far as the tag team is concerned, but I can tell you this, we're the most successful. As far as world tag team titles are concerned, nobody can come close to us, nor will anybody ever. So I succeeded in that goal. The singles run has been going great. And I wanted to do something that was gonna be extremely memorable, which is pretty funny because about an hour before my cage match with Jeff Hardy at lockdown, Hulk had that big sit down with me and he said, uh, you know, Bully, right before I uh, went to the ring in Madison Square Garden against the Iron Sheik, Andre pulled me on the side and he said, hey boss, whether you win or lose, make sure you do something memorable. That's some advice, isn't it? I guess I took Hulk's advice. I guess I took Andre's advice. I really did something memorable. You will never forget Bully Ray. You will never forget what happened at lockdown 2013 when I shocked the wrestling world. TNA champ Bully Ray, president of Aces and Eights. You mentioned the stable and how solid, how good this collection of talent is. Speak on that behalf. Devon, Mr. Anderson, Wes Briscoe, others that are involved in this group. What a great cross-section of athletes. What a great cross-section of badasses. What a great cross-section of pro wrestlers. Me and Devon, that speaks for itself, okay? Anderson, a tough, tough son of a gun and one hell of a talker. Doc and Nux, those are two of the most intimidating men I've ever seen in my life. And take it from somebody who has made a living off of intimidating people. You don't want to see them in a back alley. Great young guys, younger talents, young tough dogs in the wrestling business like Wes and Garrett. Got my boy Taz always watching my back. And there's a bunch of other guys that you might not even know about. There's aces and eights all over. You never know when another member of the aces and eights might pop up. So, um, dominant. No doubt that's the right word, dominant. TNA Impact Wrestling will be 
saying goodbye to Universal Studios Orlando. It's been a really good run here. This is an area you're familiar with. Just what does it mean to you and the company and how it's grown starting here? From the bottom of my heart, I can honestly say to the fans in the impact zone in Orlando that I'm happy to be leaving you. I hate you. I've never liked any of the fans in the impact zone. You're all a bunch of losers. I'm glad TNA is going on the road. Because that just means a different city every week that the Aces and Aids get to take over. A different city to beat up all of the TNA fan favorites. A different city to make a fool of Hulk Hogan in. A different city to beat up Jeff Hardy in. It's awesome. Now, everybody in the United States gets this chance to see TNA up close and personal, but more importantly, the Aces and Eights up close and personal. TNA champ Bully Ray, president of Aces and Eights. Anything else you'd like to leave us with? Get out.